ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is K-Check. The search is almost over pero tuloy pa rin ang Brain Power Challenge sa ating mga contestants. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Isaac. Isaac, a UP Diliman student, has been a volunteer for the UP Office of Admissions for the last three UPCAT cycles. Now, he also trained in UPD's Ugnayan ng Pahinungod to become part of the Affirmative Action Program, contributing to the university's effort to democratize access to college education. Sunod naman, we have Davi. Davi is a chemical engineering student from UP Diliman. He is a proud member of three STEM-based organizations in the university. Outside of ACADs and orgs, he listens to P-pop and watches K-dramas. His favorite groups include SB19, Vision, Alamat, and Bini. While his favorite drama is Queen of Tears. Sunod naman, we have Matt. Matt is a student of UP Diliman. He studies geography. His hobbies are watching movies and series. His interest is in aviation. He listens to K-pop group twice. And finally, we have Louis. Louie is a second-year student from UP Diliman, and her love for animals is as big as the sun. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Sunod naman, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. It's time, let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. Premiering in 2018, the musical Ang Huling El Bimbo features the hit songs of which music group? Matt. Eraser Heads. Eraser Heads is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What common fishing equipment has a name that may also mean the remaining amount after deduction? The correct answer is net. Question number three. What country is seven-time Formula One champion Michael Schumacher from? The correct answer is Germany. Question number four. In June 2024, a missing woman was found swallowed whole in the belly of a large python in the island of Sulawesi, which is just south of Sulu. In what country did this happen? Isaac. Indonesia. Indonesia is correct. Okay, check. Question number five in mental math. What fraction in lowest terms is the reciprocal of 7.5? The correct answer is 2 over 15. Question number six. Pele is the Hawaiian goddess who is believed to have created which mountains that eject molten rock? The correct answer is volcanoes. Question number seven. What material that stretches easily and is used especially to make sports clothing has a name? That is an anagram of expands. Isaac. Spandex. Spandex is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Acids turn blue litmus paper into what color? Louis. Red is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. 
What is the title of the 2023 live action fantasy film where Halle Bailey played the role of Ariel? Louis. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What word may mean quick or speedy or is a verb that means to abstain from food? Tavi. Fast. Fast is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In what sport is the mode part of the course called the fairway? Correct answer is golf. Question number 12. And the last question for this round. How many zeros are there in 10 billion? Davi. Nine. Nine is wrong. Louis. Eight is wrong. Isaac. Ten. Ten is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number one. And after that round, we have Isaac in the lead with 30 points, followed by Louis with 20 points, Davi and Matt tied sila with 10 points each. So dito contestants, meron tayong segment sa show na mas kinikilala namin ang background ng ating mga contestants. Ito ang Kay Chica. So simulan natin kay Isaac. So Isaac, can you tell us more about your advocacy? So what are your biggest challenges so far with that advocacy? Um, basically, uh, uh, as a volunteer, so, um, uh, as, a, uh, as an UPCAT volunteer, um, basically, ang challenge for me is uh, yung ibalan siya with my academics. Since, um, to be honest, marami siyang time na tinitake sa akin since medyo uh, mataas rin yung position ko as a volunteer. Um, Actually, ako yung isa sa mga nag attend sa emails, sa emails group. So, uh, mas uh, serious yung nature ng concerns namin doon compared dun sa, um, sa Facebook uh, Messenger namin. And, so, mas direct yung coordination mo with uh, OPCAT takers? Uh, yes po, and mas uh, critical po yung information na nandun po sa emails kasi. And three OPCAT seasons na, no? Yes, po. Ever so since that's nung, three years now, basically. Ever since nung freshman po ako, nag-volunteer wow. na po so, ako. Thank you so much for uh, volunteering, no, for doing that, aside from focusing on your ACADS. Maraming salamat kay Isaac. So, ito na, lalo na sa mga viewers natin na nanunood na gusto mag upcat So, ikaw pala yung sasagot sa mga emails nila. <laughs> okay. Salamat, Isaac. Ito naman si Davi. So, si Davi naman seems to be managing his time very well dahil kahit member siya ng tatlong orgs, sa UP ay may time pa siya for his ho hobbies. So, um, Davi, ano ba tong mga orgs na ito and how do you manage to achieve this work-life balance? Um, hello po. Yung orgs ko po right now are uh, UP Alchemist po. Home organization po siya. Tapos, aside from it po, meron po ding Agham Youth uh, Engineering. Tapos, um, Student Energy at UPD. So, I managed this by ano, by finding time, like outside of ACADS. Like, kasi medyo hindi din ako like ACADS person. So, like outside ACADS. BS org ka ganun. Yeah, parang BS org daw. <laughs> kasi Pero you, you see the relevance of your course in yep. those organizations. Yes, po. Kasi sa course ko sa chemical engineering, I see myself sa energy sector. And by, ano, by joining these, um, uh, organizations, mas na-enhance ko pa yung mga knowledge ko outside sa classroom. Right. So, yun yung isang actually pinakamagandang reason kaya maganda sumali sa organization kasi mas na-appreciate mo yung pinag-aaralan mo. Thank you so much kay Dabi at kay Isaac. So, mamaya naman kakausapin natin si Matt at Louie. Pero paghandaan muna natin ang round 2 dahil susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Scores recap muna tayo. In the lead, si Isaac with 30 points, followed by Louie with 20 points, at si Davi at Matt with 10 points each. Ngayon naman, ipagpatuloy natin ang second part ng Kay Chica. 
Si Matt naman ang kakausapin natin. So Matt, parang langit at lupa ang interes kasi bukod sa geography, interesado rin siya sa aviation. So ano in particular ang interes mo sa aviation, Matt? Um, since bata pa po kasi ako, pangarap ko na pong maging pilot. Mm. And ayun po, habang tumatagal, mas, mas gusto ko na pong mag maging pilot. Are you planning to ano to enroll eventually in aviation? Kung pala rin po. So, so ano na yung mga steps sa ginagawa mo para ma-achieve yan? May mga prerequisite ka bang kailangan gawin? Ay parang wala naman. Wala naman? Okay. Pwede direction na agad okay. yun? Okay. Maraming salamat kay Matt, ang ating future pilot. Okay, ito naman. Finally, si Louie. Kung ang love mo for animals is as big as the sun, your love is 865,000 miles in diameter. Ganun kalawak. So, bakit mo nasabing ganito ang pagmamahal mo sa lahat ng mga animal? Ever since bata pa po kasi ako, I've been exposed to taking care of animals. Like, kahit parang wala pa po ata akong 3 years old, may nalagaan na po akong isda. Tapos, pet lovers din po kasi yung parents ko. So, ano, yun parang naging innate na sa akin yung pagiging caring yung love for animals. So are you volunteering as well for ano for organization? Not yet po, pero I'm planning. Okay. Thank you so much kay Louie at kay Matt for sharing your stories. But now, it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. Movie characters Crocodile Dundee, Mad Max, and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, all hail from which country? The correct answer is Australia. Question number two. Totalizer is an anagram of the name of which Greek philosopher? Isaac. Aristotle. Aristotle is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What do you call the scientific study of life in other planets and the effects of outer space on living organisms? The correct answer is exobiology. Question number four. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, what man's name stands for the letter O? The correct answer is Oscar. Question number five. A SIM card is a removable card inside a cell phone that stores data unique to the user. What does the S in SIM stand for? The correct answer is subscriber. Okay, so yung full meaning ng SIM ay subscriber identity module or subscriber identification module. Okay? Question number six. In what country can you find the majestic cities of Geneva, Zurich, and Lucerne? Isaac. Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of the monkey voiced by Frank Welker in the 1989 Disney movie Aladdin? Louis. Abu. Abu is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In what town in Cavite can you find the Aguinaldo Shrine? One of the sites of the commemoration of the Declaration of Independence on June 12, 2024. Kawit is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What do you call a counting frame that involves beads, which is believed to have been invented by Sumerians before being popular in China? Isaac. Abacus. Abacus is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. In food. What do you call the popular dish made of sliced bread soaked in beaten eggs and milk 
Then pan fried. Louis. French toast. French toast is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. The AMLAC or AMLC is a government agency tasked to implement the provisions of RA 10168 or the Terrorism Financing Prevention and Suppression Act of 2012. What does the ML and AMLAC or AMLC stand for? The correct answer is money laundering. Last question for this round, number 12. What essential element that plays a vital role in thyroid hormone production in humans has the symbol I? Tavi. Iodine. Iodine is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. So after that round, let's do a scores recap. Isaac is now in the lead with 90 points, followed by Louis with 80 points, Davi with 30 points, and Matt with 10 points. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Isaac is in the lead with 90 points, followed by Louie with 80 points, Davi with 30 points, and Matt with 10 points. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's see how not just our contestants, but our experts will do in this round. Ilan kaya sa mga tanong ang masasagot? For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin. Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Biology muna tayo. A prokaryotic cell does not have which of the following? A. Cell membrane B. Cytoplasm C. Ribosome D. Cytoskeleton or E. Nuclear membrane E. Nuclear membrane We meron nakaalala ng biology So we have eukaryotes and prokaryotes A prokaryotic cell is surrounded by a plasma membrane but like a eukaryote, it still has um, cell membrane, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and cytoskeleton. Ang wala siya ay nucleus, so it doesn't have a nuclear membrane. Okay, check. Thank you. One point na rin si Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil, next question. This presidency spurred the country's strong economic growth and won plaudits not only from Philippine big business, and civil society groups, but also from international credit agencies and aid organizations. A. Corazon Aquino, B. Benigno Aquino III, C. Joseph Estrada, D. Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, E. Fidel Ramos. Tanyag ang kanyang administrasyon sa pagtindig laban sa China sa usapin hinggil sa West Philippine Sea. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Binigno Aquino III. Thank you so much. Prof. Sophie, next question please. Thank you. <clears throat> the painting, Planting Rice with Mayon Volcano, depicts farmers toiling happily in a landscape bathed in golden yellow light. Which national artist painted this iconic work? A. Carlos Botong Francisco B. Fernando Amorsolo C. Victorio Edades Fernando Amorsolo um, Let me finish. Um, C. Victorio Edades D. Vicente Manansala E. Cesar Legaspi 
Um, there are several versions of planting rice in Mayon Volcano because it is such a popular no, and iconic work and it was painted by Fernando Amor Solo. Okay, check! Thank you, one point na si Prof. Sophie. Second round, Prof. Marian. Which of the following gases is commonly used to fill incandescent light bulbs to extend their life? A. Oxygen B. Hydrogen C. Carbon dioxide D. Argon or E. Crystal D. Argon Chemical engineering Tama? So this gas added prevents the tungsten filament from deteriorating quickly thus extending the life of the bulb. Gases usually used are helium, nitrogen, krypton, and argon, the most common being argon. Okay, check. Two, two out of four, Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil. Sana maka isa na ako. This economic policy was adopted in the Philippines in the 1950s. A. The control system B. Export-oriented industrialization C. Import substitution industrialization D. Neoliberal E. Social productivity Ang buzzword sa panahon na ito ay protectionism. So, kailangan bigyan ng proteksyon ng mga young industries ng mga kapitalistang Pilipino. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Import Substitution Industrialization. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question. An orchestra is typically composed of four main sections, namely, string, woodwind, brass, and percussion. Which instrument does not belong to the string section? A, Violin B. Viola C. Snare drum Louis. C. Snare drum Let me finish D. Cello E. Double bass um, You snare drum, you think there must be a snare and strings and stuff But yes, it is a percussion instrument Snare drum is correct Okay, check Thank you, Prof. Sophie Na 2 out of 4 na rin. So, we're halfway done. Let's do a score recap. First, Louis is in the lead with 140 points. Gulat siya. Next is Isaac with 90 points. Followed by Davi with 60 points and Matt with 40 points. Sa next half natin, meron pang 180 points sa pwede niyong pag-agawan. Okay, simulan na natin ang third round. Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil Habol. Okay. <laughs> My favorite subject, I hope it's your favorite also, Matt. If n is an even number, n is even, which of the following is not even? A, n minus 2, B, n plus 1, C, 2 times n, D, n squared, B, n plus 1. Mabilis siya. The rule is even times even is even, even times odd is still even, but even plus odd is is odd. So if n is even, n plus 1 will be odd. Okay, check. Thank you. 3 over 4. <laughs> Prof. Neil. <laughs> Sinabi ni Mamarian maghabol pero math pala. Hindi ko kayang habulin yun. Sana hindi wishful thinking na masabi ko ng K check sa tanong na ito. Okay. This region saw peasant revolts that culminated in the Hook Rebellion, a communist-led peasant uprising that took place shortly after World War II. A. Bicol B. Cagayan Valley C. Calabarzon D. Central Luzon E. Ilocos Matt. 
Decentral Zone. Saklaw ng riyong ito ang Bulacan, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, Sambales at dalawa pang probinsya. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Central Luzon. Napakagandang K-check. <laughs> Ngiting panalo, Prof. Neil, congrats. Prof. Sophie. The Louvre in Paris is the largest museum in the world, housing a collection of over 380,000 pieces of art. The greatest care is taken to ensure the safety of the works. However, in 1911, a museum employee took one work of art home and kept it for two years. Which work was it? A. Venus de Milo or Milo B. Mona Lisa C. The Scream D. The Starry Night E. Still Life Vase with 14 Sunflowers Um, it's weird to think about it, no? Um, because now the Mona Lisa is behind bulletproof glass and there's a velvet rope surrounding it. Um, it's parang a maximum security painting. But back in 1911, it was just one of the many paintings in the museum. And that's how the M Mona Lisa got kidnapped. Wow. <laughs> Umuwi pala for a time ng two years si Mona Lisa. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Now, we're off to our last round. Okay? So, 90 points left na pwede niyong pag-agawan. At medyo dikit-dikit. But of course, Louie is still in the lead with 170 points. So, simulan na natin ang fourth round, Prof. Marian. We all know what quartz is, right? It's a hard, right? Eh? Talaga, assume na. Hard, it's a hard crystalline material. And quartz crystals are very useful in various industries. So we see them in, well, sa computer, sa mga relo, and so on. What is quartz composed of? A. Silicon dioxide B. Sodium silicate C. Germanium oxide D. Sodium chloride or E, silicon carbide. Sayang. Uy, kala ko makukuha ng <laughs> chemical engineering student natin. Silicon, silicon, ang silicon, um, sodium silicate is that in silica gel. And then germanium oxide, it's a dielectric material. Sodium chloride is Salt, table salt, silicon carbide. Well, this is a hard mineral. At ang quartz ay merong chemical symbol SiO2. So the correct answer is A, silicon dioxide. Okay, Prof. Neil, your question please. Yeah, ang sarap ng feeling na nakaisa na. Sana makadalawa na. Makadalawa pa. Okay, so this global event shaped the framers of the 1935 Constitution on the rationale to have a strong executive branch of government and implement protectionist policies. A. Closed door policy of the Tokugawa Shogunate. B. Establishment of the League of Nations. C. Great Depression. D. Meiji Restoration, E. Rise of Germany. Wishful thinking lang pala. <laughs> ang kaganapang ito ay ang worldwide economic downturn mula 1929 hanggang 1939. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Great Depression. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Now we're off to our last question for this round. Prof. Sophie. <clears throat> okay. Um, originally, the UP oblation was completely naked. 
For reasons of decency, however, Jorge Bocobo, UP President 1934 to 1939, had Kuya Obles genitals covered with A. A. a bahag B. Loincloth C. Banana leaf D. Fig leaf E. Fern Isaac E. Fern Mali po. Anyone can answer Bobby. Fig leaf <laughs> Okay So in classical art no um, the fig leaf, we don't look closely next time, no? <laughs> At Kuya Oble. It's a fig leaf and classically that was used to cover the maseselang bahagi ng mga nudes. K-Check, Davi! And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Louie, our K-Check Daily Winner, with a final score of 170 points. Congratulations, Louie! Yeah, so, we'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks also to Isaac, Davi, and Matt. Palakpakan natin sila. Maraming salamat for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophie. Once again, I'm Jules Kiang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! <laughs>